I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh, my belly hurts. Ugh. It is time. It came. Oh. So everything about the book is done and I send it to the printing service. Uh, and the first thing that they do is that they do a test print so I can see what the book will look like when it's published. Mm, I'm shaking. So today I got the book, the test print. Here it is. I haven't opened it yet. I thought we'll do it together. This is my book, I actually wrote this. <laughs> oh, I need coffee. I need coffee. All right. Let's open it and see what it looks like. This is the first copy in the world of my book. What if it's ugly? What if I don't like it? That would be horrible. I hope it's nice. I really do. What, if, why do, what do I do if it's ugly and if I don't like it? That will be such a disappointment. I have to be prepared for that mentally. It can be ugly. Nothing is sure in this world. Don't be sad. Life is what it is. gave me two. They look the same. Or do they? Yes. It's absolutely perfect. This is my book. This was my dream since I was 12. I'm 40 now. <laughs> this is the year that I'm 40. Now it happened. I'm sorry, I'm having this emotional moment. <laughs> It looks too bright in this light. It's it's a dark, uh, it's, when I see um, I see what the camera sees here on my phone, and it looks a little bit too bright in the camera. But in reality, it's a little bit darker than what you see. <clears throat> oh God, this is awesome! I actually made it, and. You know what the most, you know, satisfying part is? Is that I did this all by myself. You know, I send it, to, I send it the book to a couple of um, uh, publishing houses and uh, a few of them, you know, it's very hard, so you mostly get no. A few of them actually contacted me and said, yeah, we would like to publish a book. I was like, whoa, really? <laughs> 
and uh, they gave me the contract and the contract sucked all of them they were they they were they looked very similar uh, and i read the contracts and i wasn't happy it's like no because you know on a on a house like that in a pub publishing house they have like 10 or 20 or 100 writers and they need to do marketing for all of them and how much time did they really have to market my thing and i am a media marketer that is my profession so <laughs> i can do this all by myself much better i thought so i started my own publishing company and i did this myself i am everything in this book i did the cover of this book i wrote every single word of it it's mine it's hundred percent mine no one else did this nothing i did everything exactly everything all right we must celebrate this with the uh, bubbles yeah bubbles let's go for the bubbles make a little library party in here so the print version is now finished the book release for the swedish version is first of october this year it will be so exciting to see what people will think about it i really hope they like it but there is still a lot of work left to do now I am editing the audiobook when the days are too hot to be outside. And in the evenings I spend time with my family. We take night swims and small hikes in the amazing nature here in Småland. This year feels like the start of a new episode in life. My children are big now. The girl hangs out with her friends and they drive around in this cute little car. I can't believe they are so big already. I turned 40 this year and I am a writer now. The whole thing with starting a new company and writing a book feels like walking into a newly discovered dark forest with only a small candlelight, not really knowing where to go or what I will find. It is exciting. I figure things out as I go. I am preparing for the second book in the series, creating the outline. And as always, I am writing my stories where they actually take place, in the forest. This is the actual area where my story takes place. It is a weird, abandoned village close to where I live. In my story, you will find out what happened here and why it is abandoned. And this is the actual lake where very strange things happen. The characters are very bound to this place. 
In another video, I will take you on a guided tour in this village and tell you about the weird things that happened here. When I do, I am sure you will understand why this place inspired me for my book. I will show you the abandoned houses and the strange nature here. You don't want to miss that. <laughs> so subscribe to my little channel. That's a good advice. <laughs> See you around. Bye.